Well, welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to supply chain management class. This is going to be an interesting class, uh, firstly, because we're going to be starting to do it online. Not that I'm not familiar with this. I have done already some material and I expect that this could be a good quality for all of you. So let's go through a um, couple things. So first of all, you're into supply chain management. So we're going to be dealing with how companies uh, procure, how they procure their materials, how they go through logistics, how they move all their materials through the supply chain, how they deliver that to this uh, to the to the consumer. So pretty much that's what we're gonna be touching in. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm, I'll try to do the material as easy as possible. As interactive I don't want to I don't want you to spend all your evening looking at, at uh, videos of one hour or two hours that's pretty boring so um, let's go through a couple things so first of all e let's go through the eCampus outline the material and the book such as we have it in here right so let's see how I structure all your material so that you can go through and navigate as quickly and easy as possible. So let me go first to my eCampus so that you can see how I do it. So first of all, I have um, well, this is these are the original PowerPoints that I designed for my class. But since we're gonna be a more of interactive approach, I changed the format of them, and I'll show you how to navigate through them. Also, we have the book, which is. Um, something you'll be needing throughout the semester especially now because I'm not delivering the whole class there might be some things that you need to do some additional reading so please download it check it out and make sure that you understand it well if you want a physical copy out of that book um, I'll add a link for you to, to, to purchase from the publisher uh, I don't remember the exact price but I think it was between 58 and 60 thousand won might be more might be less that's that's up for you to check with them but I'll, I'll put you the link for that in case you want the physical copy of it and not just the online one so let's go through a couple things so I'm gonna be dividing your all your material through weeks so I'm gonna put the, 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 the PowerPoint slides the interactive PowerPoint slides check every week there's gonna be an assignment so um, I plan that you go well, you use two days of your week to to go through my material. One, I rather you to go through more the theoretical part, and on the other day of the week, I expect you to do more the practical side, and that's what that assignment is for. So you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be watching every week here. You're gonna see assignment. So here, for example, you see the PowerPoint, and whenever I put any assignment, I'll be putting their assignment so that make sure that you don't miss it. Why is this important? Firstly, because the attendance that I'll be taking will be based on the assignments that you submit. Means you submit the assignment, you have your attendance plus your participation. So this is worth two percent of your final grade. So later, don't say I didn't say this. It's already recorded. It's for you. So take note of that. That's important. So again, um, you have a, for every assignment you have a week to do it. So I always I'm always putting on red when is the submission date. Okay. So make sure you download it, you do it, and you submit it. I will not be accepting things by email or through any other means. So. Um, it's not because I want to be evil or so it's just a very simple matter that uh, if I start to take emails from everyone that's gonna take very long time and sometimes I, I cannot grade them it's complicated when I download the assignments I download them as a bulk so I see all of them all the names are perfectly tagged as compared to when you see them I send them by email Sometimes it can be complicated because you send them by email and I miss them or so and then of course your percentage is gone. So make sure that doesn't happen unless it's a very special circumstance that I don't know you you were sick or something but then again you have to send me the medical certificate in order for me to verify this so it's not just like that. So anyways so that is that is that is week by week right the week by week content 
eCampus, make sure that you, you look at all the material that we have in there. And now let's go very quickly through the uh, the, uh, the navigation of my PowerPoints. I designed them on a different way, not as a traditional PowerPoint, for you to navigate in a much easier way. So let me go through some of the basics of them so that uh, you, you, you don't struggle later when you open them. So first of all, uh, okay, let me go through this one. Okay. Let me make it more full screen for you. Okay. So here you're gonna be you're gonna be opening your slides. Okay. You're gonna be opening your slides, and pretty much you're gonna get them in the original way, which is this way. Okay. The normal view. I'm gonna put them on a normal view first. Okay. So um don't go through them one by one because that's not gonna work that's not gonna be easy for you so this is a very modern approach i made for you and it took me a long time so that it's more that's easier for you to go through them so what you're gonna do is uh you're gonna do the reading view so click the reader view don't click the slideshow because the slideshow you cannot take notes at the same time so make sure that you have in the reading view, you can see it here at the bottom. Make sure that's a reading view, otherwise you'll struggle with that, okay? So anyways, let's click the reading view. The same thing, um, I installed some macros and some functions. So make sure that when you open the file, if it tells you, uh, do you allow to see any extra content? Do you want to run Flash or any other add-ons to your PowerPoint in order for you to to go through everything just say yes that's it it's very simple because if you say no you may not be able to see the videos you may not be able to hear the sound or the recordings that I am embedding into each one of the slides okay so anyways let's go through it let's just do a simple practice of the first unit okay so let me just go very quickly through that so here we have for example this is what you're gonna see so I divided your whole unit into the main topics. I will be recording audio on each of the main topics. So let's say, for example, if you go to procurement, you're going to click procurement. OK, so you click procurement, then it's going to appear your slide. It's going to redirect you to procurement. And then, of course, if you want to hear my lovely voice, explaining in a much easier way the text that you're going to be reading there you can read it first and then do my audio you can do my audio first and then well, read that's up to you i have i have i mean i have no problem how you do how you study that that's up to you but anyway so for example here i have here you can see that there's 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 a speaker if you see a speaker that means there's an audio recorded for you So I'm not gonna go through all of it. Just, 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 just bear with that. Okay. Just as for example. So again, when you see some audio, you can click so you can hear my explanations. Um, pretty much, I will be using audio only on the main topics. Okay. So once you finish with this one, you can go back home, wait for to the original one, and then if you finish already procurement, you can already click. Then already mean that means I already read it, so I can continue to the next one. Okay, so they can go to world class, world class procurement. Okay, so here I have, for example, some things that I will be mentioning. I will be adding the audio. I haven't added yet in this slide, but the one that you're going to get already is going to have everything. So here, for example, if I add videos, there might be some videos, not, not, not my videos, because you already will be listening to my voice, and I don't think you still want to. I don't see the point of it. But anyways, there's some good examples. So here, for example, you, I am giving you a video for you to watch. So in this case, you have to wait a little bit, right? And you have to click on screen, especially if there is a video. It's going to embed the YouTube. So, well, it's taking some time. Go click on screen to play. Delays depends on your internet connection. It should be working. Now it's not working because there's too many applications open in my computer. But anyways, 
uh, later you try on your own one okay so anyways so let's go through this one so when you have a button of home and back let's say for example in this one there was an example so I can click the example and then once I go through the example if I want to go back to that slide then I'll just go back and if I want to go back home then I just go back home once I finish already this content they can already I can already click it it's taking forever like I said there's too many applications open in my computer but should be working very easily when you open it okay so anyways and my computer is very slow by the way so and I think I already it already froze <laughs> yeah that's my computer it's not not that, not that good okay so anyways that's the navigation um, there's going to be a short video lecture uh, for that one, this, 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 uh, this short video lecture, I'm going to record it just five minutes to explain you the whole topics, everything, just in general, how it goes, how it works. Uh, say, for example, in this case, for unit number one, I'll be explaining very quickly procurement, the, how it's the world class, in general, the outline of the whole unit. Now, when you want to go into detail, you go into each one of them, you listen to the audio, and that should be enough. That, that That's what, how it really works. Okay? So, like I was saying, yeah, all my material is, uh, is, is very easy to navigate. The same thing, you go through ballot chain. If you see here, for example, some things that are there, you have to click them, because that means there's something else that I want you to read. So, the same thing, you want to go back, you can just go back. So here, for example, I put in this process, there are five primary activities. So you go, I highlighted, that means there's more information to that. You may not know what are those five primary activities. You just click it, go into the slide, and that should be all. And the same thing here, for example, I have a video. Then it prompts me to that video. I can watch it. I can just click it and then wait for it to play. Like I said, I'm not going to play it right now. There's so many things I'm going on my computer, but later... There you can go ahead and do it and explore it on your own. Let's go back home. Okay, so anyways, we have here all the content. Like I said, I saw that one, I click it. I saw that one, I click it. I saw logistics, I click it. So that helps a little bit of a, of a, as a reference for you to know what, what you have done. Okay, very good. So now let's go through. Let's go through now my agenda of the day. There's some other things that I need to tell, tell you today. Um... So that's the PowerPoint navigation, assignment, submission. So uh, every week, like I said, every week you have the assignments. They are not long. I just want you to put in practice what you've been learning, what you've been reading, and you need to submit it to me. Like I said, it serves two full purpose, which is firstly your attendance and second, your practice. Well, uh, so that means it's two percent of your final grade. So um, I'm not gonna be pushing you, well, pushing you technically because it's a K push. I'm not be pushing you for attendance except in this way. So you know when you do your assignment, you wanna do it on the day itself. You wanna do it on the last minute. Fair enough, but make sure you do it and make sure you do it accurately. Okay. Um, and then we have the Q and A message board. So I'm very pretty open. I understand that when you're reading your material, there's no, there's going to be some things that are not going to be very clear. So what I want you to uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes if you have, you go to the Q&A forum and then put the questions. You can put there, okay, unit number one question on slide three. Professor, I really, after reading the material, after watching your videos, after looking at everything I really couldn't get it so can you explain that further for me well that's the way you can do it okay. good fair enough so a that's all for now uh, that's all the agenda and uh, well again welcome back in in this way um, like I said if you have any questions if you have any suggestions if your slides are not working or is there something that you don't get please contact me any in any way you can you do it either by email, via email, through the eCampus, through my phone as well. I mean, usually my phone account pretty much is the fastest, but sometimes if you ask me something too technical and I cannot check it on my account, then 
that becomes a bit of a problem. So choose the rest right platform for you to send me a message and that should be fine. So thanks again and then yep, check all the material. The material is gonna be appearing week by week. I'm gonna dosify it for you because if I throw all the content um, perhaps it's not well the slides are gonna be there but the assignments I'm gonna dosify them they're gonna be appearing week by week so if you say like ah oh, professor I, I don't have any material right now it's because it's gonna open on the day that the class starts and the week that it belongs to okay so don't don't try to rush so uh, thanks a lot uh, thanks for your time and well again if you have any questions don't hesitate to send them to me thank you and I'll see you welcome back and uh, hopefully I can see you as quickly as possible. Stay safe.